the way most of us live life today creates countless opportunities for leaks of valuable information and data. In 2022, not oil, not gold, not even cryptocurrency, but data is the commodity. Worse yet, a commodity with a growing arsenal of misuse scandals. Facebook cookie scandal, for example. We understandably focus on online data enormously, perhaps letting our guard down when it comes to other sources. Now, what if I told you that there is another kind of data that each of us carry? Data that can make you or break you. Precious data that can potentially save your life or ruin it. In fact, when I say precious, one thing comes to my mind. My precious! They stole it from us! I've been working long and hard on my Gollum impersonation, so if it didn't land, please just pretend it did. <laughs> this is Gollum. Gollum is consumed by an obsession over a ring he possesses. This ring means the world to him. Sadly, one day, Gollum gets tricked. He gets distracted. And to make a long story short, he loses his precious. He loses his ring. He gets it stolen. From that moment on, his life kind of becomes a living nightmare. He feels exposed to the evil of this world, lied to and deceived. Now, what if I told you that each of us possess something as dear, as powerful and potentially as destructive as Gollum's ring? Kind of our own personal precious. Yes, we have it. We all have it and you can't even see it. It's your DNA. It's our genome. My name is Agnieszka. I hold PhD in genetics and bioinformatics. And DNA has been at the center of my scientific career for the last 14 years. Our genome is basically all the genes that form the basis of life, of you. It is all encrypted in humans in 3.2 billion building blocks called nucleotides. Now, DNA sequencing technology is all about learning how those building blocks are ordered and organized. Up to date, about 30 million human genomes have been fully sequenced, and some of the data used to assemble so-called human reference genome. Having such reference allowed an immense progress in research and medicine. The more genomes we sequence, the better the knowledge of the human genetic code. Now, next generation sequencing allows for fast and relatively cheap sequencing of DNA. Right now, a cost of sequencing a human genome is at about 100 US dollars. This is less than a fine for not having your bike lights on in Copenhagen. And trust me, I know how much that fine is. My precious audience, I have good news and bad news to share with you today. DNA sequencing being so widely used and so cost-effective allowed for one of the biggest advances in modern medicine called Precision medicine. Precision medicine or personalized medicine is the good news. Now, let me use cancer as an example. This innovation allows for matching of the medication to our DNA profile or DNA profile of the cancer cells if we are unfortunate enough to get the disease. 
Additionally, it provides an improved platform to detect life-threatening diseases. This is phenomenal. It is already saving time, saving money, and saving lives. Precision medicine rooted in DNA sequencing technology is the future of medicine. Now, with all the marvels of this fantastic technology comes the bad news. It's 2019, and I'm listening to a talk about a company that offers DNA sequencing as a service. I'm very eager to hear what they sequence and for who. As an example, a report shown delivered to parents of a boy suspected to have a genetic disorder is shown. The sequencing confirms the mutation. Diagnosis can be delivered. However, the report continues, and it features additional changes to that boy's genome that potentially, potentially have negative implications towards his health or life. As if that's not enough, to my disbelief, I learn that the parents never asked to see those additional findings. All I'm thinking is how wrong, how unethical. Unethical because this is sensitive health data. Genetics is a very complex matter, and there is still some uncertainty to those findings due to methods constantly evolving. I am a mother of two girls and being worried about their health, future, well-being is a big component of my parenthood. I am a strong believer that it is everyone's right to decide which eyes look at and interpret our DNA data. You see, those parents now might worry sick for the rest of their lives. And it doesn't end there. I bet some of you have seen ads where, again, for about 100 US, you can learn your ancestry based on your DNA sequence. You pay the money, get the kit, send the sample back, the genome gets sequenced, analyzed, and what we receive again, in most cases, is a colorful pie chart representing a percentage of where we come from genetically. Five minutes of excitement and fun, that's for sure. However, what the curiosity in you just did is it revealed the biggest secret about you, your most precious thing about you out in the universe. And it's not that I am not curious about my ancestry. Oh, I am. However, the risks outweigh benefits by a ton here. So resisting is a way to go for me. On top of that, the way inheritance works is that child's DNA is this new, unique mix of 50% mother's and 50% father's DNA. So, if my mom sequences her genome and it's out there, I am affected as well. So, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, children out in the audience, please be mindful when making decisions that not only affect you, but your entire family. Ask yourself, are the companies offering direct-to-consumer DNA sequencing, keeping the information in the utmost secure way? Are they sharing it with a third party? Let me be very clear here. DNA sequencing will save millions of lives, no doubt about it. However, with the direct-to-consumer use of this technology, the risk of privacy breach and information misuse is real. The risk of an employer or an insurer putting their hands on our DNA sequence data, interpreting it, exploiting, making conclusions about us is real. I'll tell you this, some people premiums would get sky high and some might even get uninsurable. So it is not the sequencing technology itself but being 
careless and not serious enough about protecting our own sequence data, that is the problem. Not to mention lack of regulation aimed at protecting genome sequence information. Now, the 2021-22 update on Danish strategy for personalized medicine features development and commissioning of a secure infrastructure and expansion of data storage as one of the main points. Now, that just shows you that a much-needed regulation is not in place yet, but still in the development phase. Cases where direct-to-consumer sequencing businesses shared their data the date, DNA data of their customers with the third party has happened already. So it is not a grim future I am picturing here, but concerns that have already materialized. I would be devastated beyond measure if my precious got taken, revealed, misused and misinterpreted. And then I would have to live with the aftermath of it all. I am not telling you all this to scare you. Quite the opposite. Genetic testing and DNA sequencing is, is progress. It equals progress. It's here to stay, to shine, and really show us what it can do for humanity. Without a doubt, I would submit my DNA sample for sequencing if my life or health depended on it. What I would like you to take from our interaction today is please read, educate yourself, get curious, and take DNA sequencing seriously. Do think twice before you reveal your pressures for trivial reasons. Reading the forms carefully and understanding the extent of the proposed genetic tests is vital. Give it enough thought and consideration when or if you are ever requested to submit your DNA sample or even interested in, in submitting your sample for DNA sequencing. There are a number of websites such as Genetic Literacy Project that offer a variety of articles about this topic in a reader-friendly form. Let's not be like Gollum and get distracted and let's not get distracted and tricked into losing, or worse yet, giving away what is most precious to us. Let's be our own heroes and guardians of our genome so we can make this technology our friend, not our enemy. Thank you.